Sapping people! Today we're here with one Starlight and Ludak. Let us continue our adventure. Oh, wait a second, hold up. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps doing that. Anyways, we have some quests. We have three things to do quests, Battle Cafe, or. Um. Battle Cafe, or the, uh. Lighthouse. And I think what I'll do is actually take on the Battle Cafe and the Lighthouse. Because some quests in here actually, um. Say that they're all the way back in Sailport Town. Sailport is probably about. It's gonna take a minute to get there, so which is, there's no there's no way we can get there at honestly on foot unless it's gonna take us the entire episode. So what we are gonna do is actually beat the battle cafe, get a little stronger, prepare ourselves for the lighthouse, and then once we are done defeating the lighthouse, um, the lighthouse guide or whatever his the guy I don't know. There's some strong chain on the lighthouse that gives you the ability to fly around the region. Once we have that, we can go back to Sailport Town and complete these quests. So that's gonna be our goal plan. I love watching the battles on the Rikoli on TV. My man, my man, why is why are they saying this? Don't you mean your husband? It's watching Pokemon battles all day. He is such a dreamer. Have a seat. We will serve you the best cookies and coffee. I just feel like flipping away after dying at Black Coffee and Carolite Cafe. May you look like your Pokemon will flow away. Wait, what? A Pokemon who has an air balloon can float until it gets hurt. It can avoid ground type moves. Okay, I know what it does. I want to get a Bawool so badly. They're just so cute and if I get one, I can evolve it into one of six different types. How cool is that? I've heard there's a tough trainer at the top of the lighthouse. You should have a look. That's right. So that's why we're doing all this in order. It was basically the best things I could think of. I wish I could uh, make a copy of myself like my Pokemon. So I would have more time to spit at the cafe instead of working on my feelings. At least you can try this for your Pokemon. Oh, with Pokemon's help, shouldn't field work be a breeze? Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon Hithra and Pollution? Well, Healthia, Healthia, Healthia? I think that's how you pronounce it. The Healthia is known as a healing Pokemon because of its amazing ability to grow life in the most uninhabitable un places. And Pollution, Pollution is known as a deadly Pokemon because it, if it touches anything or gag, it will poison it and it will weather away into nothing. So anywhere you see lots of Floria and Funa, it means Healthia has been around there. As the place is without any life, it might mean that pollution has been there. Happy travels. Hmm, so I learned a little bit of lore. I never knew that, honestly. Have you ever seen the champion of Rakoto? Strangely, I can't remember his face. But we do have a clue that it's a he. Okay. Do you know the names of the four best trainers in the Rakoto region? They are Rocco, Prudence, Nora, and Rex, also called the Leaf Four. So those are their names. Not like it matters, I don't need to keep tabs on that, but at least I kind of know them. Welcome to the Battle Cafe, you could have some battles indoors. Really? The cafe here sometimes has trainers in it. They come from all across Rakoto, so they have many different Pokemon to see. There are so many things that you can do in with po Pokemon. Battle, train, breed, coordinate, rate, groove, and so much more. Sure, sure. My hair is touching my neck. This, this is unusual. Hi there, I am Carlite Town's famous move tour. In exchange of blue shards, I'll teach you Pokemon. I'll teach you awesome moves. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Alright. Hmm. Who can learn superpower? Okay, can't learn that. How can I get shards? No, we're, we won't deal with this now. I don't even know how to get shards. 
If it takes five charges to take teach Pokemon uh, superpower, that must mean charges are very rare. For the longest time, I've wanted to take my children to visit the Rainbow Reef, but I'm terribly afraid. Not far from here is the High Barrel Ranch. There are all sorts of Pokemon there. I came here from Mossy Town. I heard that the water here is so calm. Okay. Once a long time ago, there was a ship that crashed into the Rainbow Reef. Lots of treasure was lost in that shipwreck, and no one has found it yet, so it's still out there somewhere. This is one of the reasons why the Coral Lights Lighthouse was built, was so that no ships will ever crash again. That should have been a thing from the first place, but okay. I think I talked to all of them. Air blue. I can use that for my stagger still, but the item is only one time use, so. Hey you, you haven't visited the Coral Light Lighthouse in the Battle of the Lighthouse Keeper. Oh, so it's the same. This is something that every trainer should do when they are in Coral Light Town. You should head over to the lighthouse and try your best. I was planning on doing that from the beginning, I just wanted to see what you would do. Actually, no. Actually, I don't know. I was gonna check. I was just gonna check, I was gonna come right back, but whatever. Harry was in there, I was over there, I talked to the old man, I talked to you, you gave you a skyplate? I'm a lighthouse expert. There's Bill's Lighthouse in Kansas, the Glare Lighthouse in and Olivine in Jota. There's a lighthouse in Salaport in Hoenn, and in Sydney Short City, in the Southern region, in Driftvale, in Nova, and Cormoran, Calip. <laughs> oh my gosh. This lighthouse is in every Pokemon game. Now that is actually noticed, it. my knowledge of lighthouses is extensive. I wasn't reading that right, but Jesus. <laughs> There's just a lot of lighthouses I just never realized. So, what we are going to do is take on the Battle Cafe. Oh wow, you're still on your journey? We battled on Route 2 near the river. I don't remember this guy at all. Perfect. The one point when you have it is a quick action down. It's bar and body. Still couldn't kill it, wow. One male Pokemon you do have is actually a fire type. Amazing. Wish I had an earthquake. And something needs one more level. Until, until uh, it learns this one move. But you have a switch. No. 
Sorry. Uh, do it, sweet. Oh, you. Cool looking Pokemon. Oh no, this suppresses the abilities, but honestly, it's disgusting. Oh wow. You want to all core me into Sludge Bomb, which is my best move against you? Alright. Oh no. My eye got blurry for a second, weird. I'm wearing some glasses right now that help me, um, look into monitors and screens a lot better. Weird. Great, a ground type. Amazing. I got this boy. You're still tight. If it doesn't case your part rock. Yeah, okay. But I did that for two reasons. One, in case you did have a rock type move, and two, I want my Zuppy to get XP. Resisted, you burn. That did nothing. The ball one's a menace. Ah. That's unfortunate. Really wish I had horn leech. Give it to him. Yup. You're a bugger? Yes, you're a bugger. Bugger Sean. Damn, I wish I had both switch or some shit. I'm gonna switch to the house now. Sensors now. Chip away. I remember getting that move. Disgusting. Bolt attack. There we go. Now it, our deed is done. We can now send our Pokemon to its maximum potential. I'm gonna do this right now, actually. Used. And we are going to use the Thunderstone. And the Vault of you. Sure, you may have a terrible nature and a terrible ability, but eh, you're good. Extreme speed, bull tackle, you're looking like my Pikachu right now. Your stats went up, that's great.
You know what? I am the gift for you. The magnet? Yeah, why not? Alright, so we don't need to be using you for a while. Who else am I leveling up? Uh, let's level up. Yeah, let's level up Silent Slam more. Oh, double bounce. Faster than you, that's crazy. Now, now. Is it War Spear? Are you going to go for a flying type attack? I'm faster than you, it's beyond me. Oh, boy, you got some Pokemon. No, let me switch out my Ludge down next. I'm switching to... Stick it. Y'all ain't doing shit. My size slam is too powerful. And you can do stick it is go for the alarm. Six. That lucky egg is doing work. Actually, no, I didn't even have a lucky egg. Black Sledge was getting so much XP. Alright, we'll lead off with a uh, stack of skill. So that was the fams. Took them out. And now we're gonna leave with a uh, stick it. Stack of stuff. Wait, you guys are together? Why is he shorter than you? Oh, boyfriend and girlfriend, that's crazy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not taking these Pokemon on. <laughs> Just some salad slam. Uh, 
Alright. That fight's here. Yes, it did. Bye. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Oh, that's very good. It starts HP by 50%. It's basically a super potion. This is basically a hyper potion, but it's a little bit cheaper. Bubble milk. Milk with a high nutrition content? It restores HP of 1 book 1 to the maximum. Ooh. I'll get, uh, 3. Pretty expensive. And I have to get plenty of these. I'm gonna get 20. And I think that's it. Oh, wait, what else is he have? A bow. That's cool. Uh oh. You're right on site. Give Moody. Oh my goodness. My attack miss. How can this be? Wait, can I bounce infinitely or like? Aw, oh, dang it. No, I can only fight him once. That sucks. Since I can sell this for a high price, how much? 5,000? That's actually decent. This thing is honestly worthless. So sticky barbs. Oh no, you sell the experience. <laughs> I'll never do that in my life. That's it. And now, what is next is the Pokemon Nighthouse, I mean, the Lighthouse or whatever. Now, they catch a lot of Pokemon. Let's see here. Site. You're naive? Oh boy. In a sandstorm, you get your evasiveness brought up. That's cool, I suppose. Mm. I would like to put you on the team, but uh, I don't know. Light Lighthouse helps sail tr uh, ships sail safely so that they don't crash into the Rainbow Reef, which is something I know. 
There's rainbows coming from here from all around the code region about the lighthouse. If you make it to the top floor, you can battle the lighthouse keeper, and if you win, he will let you use his Pokemon flying service. Why don't you try it out? Uh, it's four. Okay. We always wanted to be a gym leader, but he didn't get the license, so this lighthouse is like a gym. But you don't get a badge if you beat him. He found out that the Pokemon flying service, which makes the hint fly re redundant. Okay. Terrible. Alright, youngster Todd. Oh, thank you. We'd rather get into a double battle, aren't we? Yeah, sure. Let's see all these two. Double trouble battle. Okay. I hope they have powerful Pokemon, even though they're small. Children. Good. And that horse brush is a male, which is perfect. of XP. Let's go Love Hug. Love Hug, you say? Attract you guys to be kidding me. Not even gonna risk this. Watch out. Burn me, son. That's how it is. Oops. Good thing I didn't switch it to my style slime. I was thinking about it. What the what? That was neutral. You're not blood type. Wait, you're ground? Wait, what's not gonna guard you? Oh, you're bug and fire. Oh, nine. Amazing. 
please die. Okay, then die. Iron Toad, get the shit out of here. You're not a physical attacker. I'm about to say, is that the top floor already? Uh... Oh, really? Oh, that was quick. I thought there'd be more trainers. And oh, okay. All right, extra sensory. Next to that mystic fire, <laughs> that's not gonna do me much of nothing. And it's not a sign you can just walk and slam that bitch. Train, huh? Time to whoop your unkin. Uh, we can use our newest Pokemon. Oh, good. I can't. I didn't know what what was picked or not. <laughs> this egg about the hatch? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, you look cool. A pink acorn. Not bad. Ah, you made it all the way to the top. Congratulations. Now let me introduce myself. I'm the Beacon, the Lighthouse Keeper. I look after the Lighthouse and I make sure that everything keeps running so the light doesn't go out. But that's not all. I'm also the founder of the Pokemon Flying Service. When I was younger and traveling the region, I always thought that each gym moves are not necessary. So I founded the Pokemon Flying, Flying Service, which allows you by a whistle to call one of my Pokemon, which flies you to the place you want. That was an awesome idea, wasn't it? I didn't even know a Pokemon can hear a whistle call from across the regions, but okay. With the use of my service, I decided to only allow trainers to use it if they can handle it to beat me. So, are you ready to give it a try? Go! The count looks like a gym leader, it looks unique. Oh, fortunate for you, buddy. I 
can't take this Pokemon on, can you? I figured you would have all flying types. I didn't know how, but I did. This is gonna do a lot of damage to me, but I'll do it. Wow, you have amazing skill. Congratulations to the win. That was a tough battle. For your effort, I award you this. Me and the TM. This is service. This is the service whistle. You can use it to call one of my Pokemon, which flies you to every city you have visited already. This was a great battle, Cole. Use the service whistle whenever you want, and I hope you, we can battle again someday. All right. So that's about cafe. That was uh the whistle thing. Are there trash cans in every floor? Except this one. Alright, we're done here. Oh you again. So you battle Beacon? You won? I suppose that I suppose that if you beat him, he must not be that strong. It would be a waste of time if I battled him. There's no gym here, so this place is pointless. I'm heading back to my home in Rassic City. My sister Lizzie called me saying that the Dragon Master Rex is there. You don't know who he is? Well, he's a famous trainer Dragon type Pokemon. He's also one of the Elite Four. I'm going back to see if I can challenge him to a battle. See you later, loser. And there we have it. So we are going to save and call it a day. So thank you guys for watching. We'll be back. Peace.